Hi guys, and Hello. welcome back to another live stream here from Lugosul uh, Portable Sawmills in uh, beautiful Härnösand, Sweden. Uh, I hope you're doing great. We are doing great. We are. Uh, and uh, I hope you have been longing for the next live stream here from Lugosul. If you are interested in Lugosul and our products, uh, please visit our homepage to find out information about our products, uh, prices, uh, technical information, anything. Head over to lugosul.com. Uh, if you want to see our previous live streams, uh, you can either go to our Facebook page, Lugosul Portable Sawmills, or our YouTube channel, Lugosul Portable Sawmills. Uh, you can find the previous live streams and uh, yeah, other product videos uh, on there. Today we are going to talk about the uh, big mill, the wide slabber, the wide slabbing system that we offer. Probably uh, one of the best wide slabbing systems uh, out there. Uh, and What's special about today's uh, live stream is that we are, uh, it's like a world premiere. Or yeah, we're demonstrating sorts. a new product. Yeah, the ES8 wide slabber unit. Uh, so it is based on our uh, big mill system. We have the big mill system in three different uh, guide bar lengths. Uh, we have the 56 inch, the 66 inch, and the 84 inch uh, big mill systems. Uh, the system we're going to demo today is the 56 inch system, uh, which can handle logs up to uh, 100 120. 125. 110 centimeters uh, in diameter logs. Yeah, the guide bar is longer, but. Oh, yeah. um, we, we lose a little bit where we um, attach the guide bar both to the uh, top carriage and the electric saw carriage. Uh, so uh, it is based on our ES8 electric saw. Uh, it has been adapted for the um, big mill system uh, with a different uh, bottom plate. So we have a really powerful uh, three-phase motor here. It's an eight kilowatt uh, three-phase motor, 50 hertz. So uh, for uh, Europe or European electricity, or wherever you use three-phase 400 volt and 50 hertz. Mm. Uh, and it's uh, connected together with our crank feed system. So we have the control box uh, for start and stop of the electric motor and we have the hand crank system which uh, makes it really comfortable and easy to use and now we're actually going to tell you about uh, what we didn't say at the previous stream that you are welcome to ask uh, questions in the uh, chat you can uh, do so both on uh, Facebook and YouTube. We're broadcasting live on both channels. So at the end of the stream, we'll go through the uh, chat section and see if you have any questions and we will answer them then. Yeah, perfect. So I have my colleague uh, Anton here today. Uh, Anton normally takes care of the Spanish live streams that we have uh, here from Hernesand. Uh, but he's been part of the uh, he's part of the sales department, uh, of course. But he's been part of the English live streams before, uh, as well. So, uh, what else to say about the big mill system? It gives a really uh, nice surface finish uh, and a good accuracy in the cut, uh, thanks to the two different guide rails that holds the uh, electric chainsaw carriage uh, in this um, instance and the uh, top carriage. 
So both parts rest on the um, aluminum guide rails and these uh, guide rails are the standard guide rails that we are using for all of our other products, the F2, F2 Plus, uh, the timber jig with guide rail system. So really easy to use and easy to extend mm. uh, as well uh, due to it being based on the same system. The standard length uh, when you purchase the uh, big mill is three meter on each side. So you can mill uh, roughly 2.7 meters in length. And then you can extend it uh, for one, uh, whatever length you need. Um, is there anything else to add about the big mill? I think that what you just mentioned is really, it's, uh, it's really worth highlighting that you can, you can form the sawmill to fit your project. And I think that's a unique feature of the, the sawmills that we're selling, the mm -hmm. longest all products. The guide bars uh, we are using are the um, double-ended guide bars from uh, Canon Bar. Uh, really uh, superior, high-quality guide bars. Uh, they are double-ended, and um, that means that we have the same type of um, rim sprocket in, in both ends. And we have an oil pump uh, in both ends as well. So we can uh, lubricate the, the chain, on both, both on the motor side and on the top side, uh, which uh, gives you a really good uh, lubricant and cooling effect on the chain. And that's especially important when you're uh, milling these wide, uh, wide logs that you perhaps can't mill on another uh, sawmill. Our biggest big mill, the 84 inch one, can handle logs up to 1.85 meters uh, in width. We could also mention that it has a water cooling system on the end side of the blade. Yeah, the water cooling system is also uh, built into the system. Uh, so we have both chain oil and uh, water cooling on top of the uh, guide bar. And the ripping chain we're using, uh, it's the Oregon 27 RX uh, ripping chain, uh, which uh, is fantastic for applications like this uh, when you're doing these wide cuts. Um, and it's also worth to mention that the big mill system was originally built for uh, chainsaws. And uh, it, we so when you purchase the big mill system, you have a chainsaw carriage where you can attach either the steel MS-880 uh, eight, eight or 881. Eight uh, and we are doing a revision on the bottom plate, so you will be able to use your Husky 3120 XP uh, as well. And that, those are the chainsaws we uh, recommend for the big mill system because it's quite a, a big setup and a lot of uh, chain to, to drag around. Yeah. Anything else? Should we check the chat and see if we have any questions already? Yeah, let's see. And uh, start preparing for making our first cut. our cut here. I can perhaps take this smaller camera to see if we can have a look at some of the details. So here is the uh, so here is the uh, uh, eight kilowatt electric saw. We have the uh, oil pump and the guide bar. On this end, um, we have the electric saw connected together with our electric starting unit and the three-phase cable coming in there. We have these massive aluminum tubes connecting from one end to the other. And we have the uh, end pieces that we connect 
uh, on the end of the logs. We screw them into the log and that is actually what's holding up the guide rails on both ends. And to reset it to the next height, it's really easy. We just uh, put a, a board underneath at the correct thickness and just lower the the cross crossbar here to the next uh, height. And then we have the top here, uh, the same type of connection as on the other side. We have the guide bar and the oil pump, the oil coming down over there in one bottle and then we can use water over here. So a really nice system, gives a nice quality cut with the guide rails that everything is resting on. So do we have any questions, Anton? Uh, no questions, but we have Todd Corl in the chat who says, that's a slab, nice mantelpiece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really so, is. And hi, Todd. <laughs> we can actually look at the surface already that we had from the from the previous cut. It's really smooth uh, thanks to the chain and it looks really good. Yeah. Beautiful pattern. Yeah. So let's uh, start yeah. it and we'll uh, take it for a spin. Indeed. And did I mention that we have the hand crank system? Uh, it's really nice to operate, really effortless, mm. wouldn't you say? Yeah, it goes very easily, very smoothly. my glasses.
think we'll wedge something in there. You want to? I can continue, but mail yeah. out the rest. Yeah, since it's a heavy, heavy slab that we're making, it's really a good idea to put a wedge there in order to lift the log up a bit, so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't pinch, pin pinch, pinch the guide the bar at the end. Nice. There we go. And I was actually hoping for that we could see a bit of this crotch that we get from um, yeah. from the uh, branch sticking out on that end. So let's see if we can oh, look. lift this up. Wow. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. What a surface. Yeah. This would make a fantastic tabletop. <laughs> Indeed. And it, we can probably see that it will be a really nice pattern uh, when we go even further uh, into the log. Yeah. Nice, and we have the the slab over here, and we made the slabs three inches thick, so we have some material to to use when we're making that amazing table. I mean, now we have to do a table. Yeah, it's a single piece table, so it's going to be a Fantastic build. Wonderful. Uh, as you said, the result is astonishing. It's yeah, really, really nice. It's wonderful to see. And we can also mention, I mean, normally when you use the MS-880, um, it's a really nice saw. It's a powerful saw, but using, using this uh, el electrical motor, it's I think it's smoother. It doesn't have the same level of vibration, and it uh, it feels really nice. Yeah, wouldn't you um, say? Less vibrations, no uh, exhaust fumes, uh, no filling the tank. Yeah, it's just plug it in and go. So if you have the possibility to connect your your wide slabber to, uh, to 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 electrical power, I think it's a fantastic option yeah and and having both options yeah that as well. uh, if you have if you purchase the big mill uh, with the chainsaw and having the possibility to go uh, where the customer is or where the log is to take care of it and make nice looking slabs like this uh, and then if you have the electric version as well 
as a complement or the other way around, perhaps the chainsaw is mm. the complement. Uh, having it uh, at the property, running electricity, the logs come to you. It's, a, uh, it's, um, I mean, the best of, of the two words. Yeah, there's no need to choose between comfort and portability. No. So uh, to, to sum it up, a very uh, good, competent system uh, with uh, the option to have either pet a petrol driven by a petrol chainsaw or this electric uh, chainsaw, three-phase chainsaw option is, is a really good mill and gives a perfect surface finish and good quality of the cut as well. The, mm. um, the accuracy is very good thanks Fantastic. to the two guide rails supporting the, um, the milling rig. And, and they say that's one of the amazing the parts when, you, when using it, that you can really feel the, the stability. Mm -hmm. It feels very yeah, stable and uh, rigid. Yeah, and nothing you have to push uh, in front of you. It's really, really comfortable with this hand crank system. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not even breaking a sweat. No. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> I mean, except for when lifting the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the slab, off, of course. <laughs> Uh, let's check if we have any more questions. Yeah. Let's see here. So a completely uh, new product for the big mill, uh, the ES8 converted to work with the big mill system. So the ES8 wide slabbing unit. Uh, no questions in the chat. Okay. <coughs> If you have any questions or want to know more about the products, please uh, reach out to us. Head over to lugosul.com to find the contact details uh, either here to the headquarters in Sweden or to our dealers around the world. Uh, lugosul.com, uh, choose the country you're from and you will have the contact details uh, there. Uh, if you want to see more uh, cool content uh, from Logosul, head over to Facebook, check our videos there, our previous live streams, or YouTube to find uh, the live streams and other product videos over there. And go check us out on Instagram as well. It's like, like on Facebook, Share. subscribe to YouTube, and then and follow, us follow on Instagram. On Instagram. And if you, if you like our content, you can please share it with your friends as well to uh, spread the inspiration all over. Exactly. So that's all from us. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.